Welcome to our coverage of NAB 2012. We're outside of the uh, trade show floor. We're in kind of the uh, central area here between uh, South Lower and Central, and we're here with Reality Technica talking with Ted Kenny, and he's just going to give us kind of an update on some of the technologies that they've been working with. How's it been going? It's good. It's a great show. Always, always, always good to be in Vegas. But, uh, what have you seen around the show floor or around that's excited you? You know, there's a lot of things between some new switchers for sports. Uh, I always love visiting GoPro. I mean, GoPro's always got something new uh, up their sleeve. They've moved their boot this year. Uh, Panasonic, Sony, of course, all the big players. But it's just always fun to see also some of the new players. Uh, I walked in the back of the hall, and, and there's some new little small cameras that are coming out. So I'm always interested in just seeing different things, uh, even if they don't pertain to me. It's, it's fun to see. All right, well, what are you guys doing? Well, this year we're debuting a few things. We're debuting our, our brand new Helix uh, design camera, which is a beam splitter in 3D. And what we're doing is we're taking the best of the mechanical uh, of Element Technica, a company that we acquired. Uh, between Element Technica and 3 Audi Digital, we became 3 Audi Technica. And so we've taken their mechanical designs, which are so superior to everyone in the business, as well as the underbelly of our rigs, which is the software-driven uh, motors that make 3D accurate. Uh, and we're combining the two. Uh, so we have that new rig here, as well as we're showing uh, automatic convergence, which is Every time you shoot 3D, every camera needs an operator to set the depth. We actually have a new software that actually allows you not to have that, and it sets the parameters for you, so you don't need to, as many crew as you used to have. Uh, so we're trying to make the business case scenario for shooting 3D a, a much better option for all producers. Our coverage of NEB 2012 is brought to you by Cinebate, tools for filmmakers and photographers. Della Luce, apparel for filmmakers. Zeiss, we make it visible. Uh, so what differentiates the Helix from uh, other solutions in the market? It's the, uh, it's the software. The, the software that allows a producer or a director to get the images or shots they want uh, without spending a lot of time in post fixing them. So the software that we've developed over the past six years allows a lot of things to happen. It allows you to uh, creatively decide on what you shot you want without having to stop down to actually fix anything or do anything different. So this software, what it does is it's looking at different imperfections that most people shoot with in 3D. So color mismatch between left eye and right eye. It actually will give you analytical information to tell you where that color is and actually help you guide you to the right color spectrum. Uh, we also have uh, vertical misalignments, rotational shifts that we see. We see zoom mismatches and focus mismatches on, on other cameras. This actually monitors that and actually talks back, our software talks back to the rig and actually corrects it in camera so that you know that when you're going off a set, you've got a perfect image uh, so that you can walk right into post, whether it be with visual effects or just a straight cut that you're walking in with a perfect image and not having to spend a lot of time in post. Well, where can people find out more information and track the development of these projects? Uh, 3AudioTechnica.com. Uh, it's a great website. We just redesigned it. It's beautiful. And uh, you can always just call one of us, uh, and we'll explain and, and, and walk all clients through the process. Great. Appreciate your time, man. No problem. Thank you. Last year at NAB, uh, Sony released the ever-popular F3 camera, which has immediately kind of took the industry by storm. A lot of people really excited about the feature set of it. We're still here at a Reality Technica, and they have a cinematized version of the F3 with what I call exoskeleton body armor. I think I got that correct. Apparently some sort of nanotized robot armor of some sort. Uh, what this is, is it's a, it's a top cheese plate that mounts directly to the camera. It's got a side plate that mounts to the camera and a top handle that can be this way or this way. Uh, cheese plates, quarter 20s, 3 8s, whatever, all over the camera for different mount points. Um, it maintains the ability to get to all of your ports. You can get to the back ones here. You can get to the top ones here. And basically it gives you a lot of rig points uh, to be able to mount the camera in different configurations as well as making it pretty dang near bulletproof and uh, just adding a whole different level of protection to the camera. Now, they're telling us that this is not gonna be a DIY solution because if you uh, m attempt to mount it yourself, you're gonna val invalidate the warranty of the camera. So it has to be installed by an authorized Sony distributor such as Banpro, Ablecine, or Reality Technica. Uh, this will be available probably sometime this summer. The price points yet to be determined, but uh, if you want more information, if you're an F3 owner and want to know more how to protect your camera a little better, contact one of those local distributors and I'm sure they'll be able to fill you in with more information. Our coverage of NEB 2012 is brought to you by Kessler, 
innovative tools for filmmakers. Lettuce Direct. It's better with lettuce. LettuceDirect.com. Next light. Get lit. We're passing by the Matrox booth. And of course, check out one of our favorite little tools, the MX-02 Mini with Max. Uh, this is a great hardware accelerator for people on a budget. And uh, we're finding out that there's some new features to it. They are uh, having uh, Thunderbolt support for people that have Thunderbolt on their computers. And uh, they're also interfacing well with Adobe CS6. We had a chance to talk to Adobe, and they're telling us about how they are now incorporating those features directly into Adobe. It isn't just third-party software that's kind of working around everything. Adobe's really taking it on themselves. And Matrox is one of those companies that's working directly with them to have that make that happen. So in addition to Adobe CS6, they also support now Final Cut Pro 10. So any system, you can find a hardware accelerator that'll work with you. Uh, one additional neat feature that we found out is uh, uh, closed captioning is becoming more and more prevalent. There's uh, laws coming through that are making people have to uh, do closed captioning even for digital content on the web. And the Matrox now supports the ability to closed caption output directly through the encode. So if you are using a closed captioning software or device that would interface with this, you can then closed caption directly to the encode. So that's really nice um, and not having to uh, you know, record to a tape and then uh, offload that. You can do it right in one step. So definitely check out Matrox for more hardware accelerators. Stay tuned for more coverage fresh from the floor. 